What is up everybody? Thanks for clicking on this unboxing video. I know you can click on a lot of other videos and for whatever reason you click this one, so I appreciate it. Um, I got in a pair of Collab Low Heat. Not often you get a pair of Collab Low Heat, a little more nowadays. Um, but very excited to get these finally. It took a while to get these. Um, why am I excited? Well, this is the very first pair of this silhouette that I have ever owned. Um, so excited for that reason. And I never owned a pair of Jordan 13s. You already know what these are from the thumbnail, the title. Uh, and you know, they aren't really my shoe, but I wanted the, I've always wanted a pair in general for nostalgia purposes. The Jordan 13s came out in 1997. I was in like middle school. Other kids had them. I didn't have them because uh, I was more of a soccer guy. These were big, clunky, couldn't really do much at recess. I, I was just an indoor soccer shoe guy. I much prefer, like even these, these are not indoor soccer shoes, but uh, Jordan 1 Lowe's. I liked this profile of shoe at that time in my life. So never owned these, but all the other kids had them. Not all the other kids, these were expensive pair of shoe, hard to get, so. But some kids had them and they were definitely popular. So <clears throat> I've been biding my time to get a pair because I just, you know, it's, it's a nostalgic pair, but not my, you know, not even, doesn't even scratch my favorite uh, silhouettes. So I got this right from Soulfly on their online drop. That's what these are. These are the Soulfly uh, Air Jordan 13 Retros in muslin and celestine blue. Uh, in size 11 and a half, that's my size, true to size. We'll see how they fit. I assume they fit well. But yes, I got these right from Soulfly, direct from Soulfly. It took a while. These dropped earlier in December, I think, and I just didn't hear anything about them, you know, shipping. Your typical shipping woes that happen nowadays in the world. Uh, got back from vacation, uh, holiday vacation, and these had arrived. So some of the hypes died down on these. This has been... Oh, these have been out for a minute. Again, thank you if you clicked on these. While I'm thanking you, please subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the hit the subscribe button. It takes a second. It's free, and I would really appreciate it. So that's how that, that's how it looked. That's how the box they came in. It came in with this little uh, wrap, an extra step to do the unboxing since you can see it's a little see through. So I appreciate that. I'm taking you in. Live Through Me Vicariously, if you didn't get a pair of these or if you're thinking about it or if you wanted to get a pair and missed out, this is how they would have come from Soulfly. Let's get to the grand unveiling. Oh, masking tape. How often do you see or use masking tape nowadays? Me, not often. Wow, that's cool. So Soulfly is a brand out of Florida, out of Miami, South, South Florida. And uh, as you can see here, kind of uh, fits with their location, the see-through water, water tissue paper underneath, sand box. Soulfly has done a number of collaborations, um, probably most notably <clears throat> their Jordan 1 collab from a few years ago that dropped at Art Basel. Super high resale price on those in the, at the height of, of Jordan and sneaker mania and reselling. Uh, I don't know if those would go for as much currently uh, nowadays, if it was the, if that was their first Jordan One collab, but back then, um, back then, a few years ago, they, I mean, I think the resale on those was immediately a thousand bucks because you could only get them there. Um, so they've done other Jordan collaborations. I think this, other than the Jordan One, is probably their second best, and I haven't even opened it yet. But here's the box. If you haven't seen it all, but yeah, sand see-through top. That's kind of interesting. It's not a hard top though. It's a Oh, flexible the Soulfly logo there cool packaging uh probably can't stack this at the bottom of your shoe shoe box stack probably has to be on top or you got to discard it or whatever let's see these cool water wrapping paper ah and there we have it there we have it Ooh, these are a little lighter weight than I thought they would be. I don't know if all... Again, I haven't had a ton of Jordan 13s in hand, so I don't know if this is typically their weight, but uh, lighter weight, maybe this tongue has something to do with it. It has this, you know, rips, almost ripstop material. Um, <clears throat> textile 
durable textile cross-hatched material there. And that's pretty lightweight. But I thought the sole would be, you know, heavier. And it's not. You got the kind of the, um, was the carbon fiber plating there in the middle. Um, very cool. Should we un un undo this? I Part of me... Again, I, I played soccer growing up. I never wore chunky basketball shoes in the 90s growing up. I was just a soccer kid. And so I mainly had trainers, runners, or indoor soccer shoes for the, the first part of my my life. Um, never had these. So again, this is a, a nostalgic pair for me, but not like a silhouette that I loved. I remember he, uh, this was a big shoe because He Got Game came out at the time, and this was the shoe that dropped, and, they, and uh, Denzel Washington wore it in the movie. This was the Jordan release at the time, and so there was a little cross-promotion with the movie. Um, so I do want to hold a pair of 13s in my collection uh, to have uh, for that purpose. And I'm thinking they should be these ones. Like you, you generally speaking, I like the OG colorways, the on court OG colorways. Give it to me as it was back when they first released. But like I said, because I wasn't huge on them, I'm kind of thinking let's let's get one that I'm more likely to wear because I'm I don't in this silhouette the 13 I'm less likely to wear an OG colorway. They just again speak to me of the time and bring me back there. But for me wearing them out in public less likely to wear those OG colorways. This though, that's pretty clean, right? That I think I could pull off and like. I like these, so I think I'm going to keep these as my one pair of 13s. I don't see an extra set of laces uh, in here unless they're tucked inside. I don't see an extra set of laces. I think these are gonna be my one pair of 13s. And if that is the case, I think we can go ahead and peel off this at least one of them there you go there's the hologram bubble you got the jump man 23 behind it that's kind of cool put that in there um so yeah i'll go quick over some some of the details if you haven't seen uh videos yet uh you got this nice short haired suede upper doesn't seem super premium a little softer this is definitely softer suede, the, the gray right there. Um, you know, some quality control stuff here. I, I don't get too bent out of shape about that. If you've seen any of my videos, some people do. I get it. You're paying a lot. This retail for 200 So you're paying a lot for a shoe. Uh, you want to see good quality control. But I just, uh, I know what to expect with Jordan Brand and Nike. Um, you got, we already went over the ripstop tongue and upper toe box. The mud guard is this, it's kind of a synthetic protector right there it's soft um you got these uh circular tubular laces here i don't know if those are 3m hits the silver in them not quite sure uh soul fly logo on one top of the tongue jump man on the other you got a really soft plush liner on the inside inside the tongue and the ankle it's kind of nice very plush uh kind of that was that like steel, kind of like, um, what is the, uh, what am I trying to say? The <clears throat> reinforced steel, and that's not the right word. Corrugated, corrugated steel. That's what I'm trying to think of. Uh, here, let's take a look at the inside, the insole there. Soulfly logo on the inside, kind of more that water themed ripple effect there. 11 and a half, as I said, I got. Here's the, the outsole, the traction. Carbon fiber there in, in the sand color. Uh, gum bottom, Jumpman logo there. Pretty, I like the colorway. It's not quite um, UNC. I think the UNC thing gets a little overdone. Uh, we got Jordan 5s coming out that are UNC that I'll be looking to get, of course. All right, let's try these on right now i'm wearing these jordan one low in powder blue uh i think these are super underrated i've been wearing these a couple times recently finally on dead stockton did an unboxing video and i think these this is a great colorway great silhouette easy to wear at first it looked a little bit like a bowling shoe to me but i don't know if you see that um i don't know why these are so slept on maybe because they look like a cheap takedown version of the Travis Scott fragment Jordan 1 lows but like to me they look different enough 
Also, I can see that concern if the shoot if the Travis Scott fragments were slightly more attainable, but they're not. So I don't see them everywhere. Um, and the the blues are different. The the color blocking is different. I I don't see the the comparison. It's obviously the same silhouette, and it is blue, white, and black. But that's it's about where it stops for me. I I I'm very surprised these aren't more popular. I really like these, and they're very reasonable resale price right now, basically retail. Um, so I, I highly encourage you to check the prices out on those. I like these a lot. Again, I don't see them as a, a cheap knockoff version of the Travis Scott fragments. I know some people do, but I don't. Uh, I'm fine wearing them. I love them. They go with a lot. If you buy them on StockX, they're going to be, I think, you know, a little well over retail by a little. But if you can find them at a resale shop or used or somewhere look at the other platforms you might be able to get them for a good good price all right there it is on foot definitely looks a little chunky but not as bad as i thought it would look i think wearing these with paint eh, no summer fit in miami these would look dope now do how often do i go to miami not all that often i do live in la though so um these are a nice summer looking shoe maybe even winter with that kind of light blue uh you know you, you wouldn't want to wear these in like crappy conditions but uh it's kind of nice i'm digging it it's it's exactly like i thought it would be for me um just not a huge huge fan of this silhouette but this color blocking these materials um these color this colorway does it for me. I think this is like one of the best 13s out there, whether it's we're talking a general release color or a collab. To me, I'm not a 13 expert, uh, but in just quick thinking about all the different 13s that are out there, uh, I feel like this is one of the best. So uh, let's put on the other one. I would recommend for sizing, uh, do true to size. I got a little bit of room in the toe. Maybe I could um, go half size down, but I'm always a little weary of that, personally. I'm wearing these for comfort. I'm not wearing these to ball in, so slippage isn't a concern to me. They're not too big. I recommend true to size. I think if somehow you're able to try 13s on or this specific collab, you know, try it a half size down, go ahead, try it. But if you're just ordering blindly, I would go true to size to be safe for width, width purposes. Cause right now these are perfect. A little bit of room in the toe, but not too much. That's my recommendation. And it, also I'm not standing. Once you stand, your foot flattens out. I would, I would uh, definitely go true to size. So let's uh, lace one up here. Huh? I would love to know what you guys think about it. There's a little, was it Jordan on the, on the front there at the bottom of the tongue. And on the back side, 13 in Roman numeral, numerals, little detail there. Um, <clears throat> I would love to know what you guys think about these. Uh, I, in general, I would give this silhouette like a, a four. I really, you know, again, it's not my thing. But this collab, these colors, materials are pretty nice. I, I wouldn't say super high quality. Um... I think it pushes up to at least a seven. I like the shoe. Seven's kind of like the bar. I like the shoe. These went retail for 200 with tax shipping, came to 225 right now on StockX and all those sites. I think uh, people want it. They're putting in uh, 225 for their bids. So that means that, you know, that if someone accepted it, they're going to pay in like 270 something like that, 280 And people are trying to sell them, basically get their money back. I think the People are listing them for like two forty five, two fifty. Once you take their fees off, they're they, you know they might be out a little bit of money. So they're essentially people are trying to flip these to get their money back, and people want to buy these so that they're not paying too much more than people like me paid for them. So that's where they're sitting at the market. I think if you like thirteens at all, consider these. If you like this colorway, consider these. This uh, collab for basically retail. This great. I mean. This light blues, these light blues and grays, and this cream color, I think it all fits well together. Um, again, the top, you'd have to show me some other 13s. I'm trying to think, did Clot do a 13? I think Clot did a 13, and I, I like that. I think it was, you know, that, that, 
that sandy beige clay colorway. I think they did a 13. I know they did a 14. Um, but I think that's like the only other one that I really like. So definitely a seven. I think because these colors are so clean and I like this kind of, this sock liner actually. It's super plush and soft. I like the laces. I like this. They aren't as heavy as I thought they would be too. They're pretty lightweight. Again, maybe all 13s are this lightweight, but I just, I, I don't know. Didn't have a lot of experience with the product, you know. Um, I, I think I'm going to give these a 7, um, a high 7. I think I'm going to give these a 7.75. Definitely like them. I'm going to keep these for now as my 13s in the collection. Maybe they'll get surpassed at some point by a release. And maybe I'll trade them out if, uh, you know, that happens. But I think I'm going to keep them in the collection and at some point find the occasion to wear them. So... Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. More low heat coming up soon, so please subscribe uh, and let me know what you think about these.